NASA said today that 2017 was the second hottest year on record since modern measurements began in 1880. The agency's findings continue a decades-long trend of global warming. And Nicole Mortolero is the CBC's senior science and technology writer, and she joins me now. So, Nicole, take us through the findings that NASA announced today. Okay, well, as you said, it was the, uh, the second warmest since 1880. Mm -hmm. um, so they analyzed uh, from uh, 6,300 weather stations from around the globe, and they found that it was the second warmest. What was also interesting is they found, um, they found that it was 0 0.90 degrees Celsius above the average from 1951 to 2010. So they, 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 we use different averages. Mm -hmm. So uh, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration also was in that release. And they found that it was 14.7 degrees Celsius. Um, that was the global surface temperature. But they found that it was the third warmest. So there's a difference between the two. And it has to do with how they analyze the Arctic uh, temperatures and how they they how they take that into account. Um, so also, El Nino mm -hmm. and La Nina. El Nino causes some warming across the globe, and La Nina causes some cooling. Uh, we didn't have an El Nino this year, and La Nina started at you the mean end. this past 2017. Like, yes, yeah. 2017. Yeah. I'm still stuck there. Um, and they, we had La Nina at the end of 2017, so that kind of influenced the findings as well. But they found if you took both of those things out. 2017 would have been the warmest on record. So that is interesting, right? Yeah. Because then it indicates that it's probably human caused. Yes. Or that's the, that's the concern. Yes, and that is what they say. Uh, the United Nations, they released its own climate data today. Yes. So what does it say? So they came out and said it was the second or third warmest on record um, since pre industrial time, which is uh, 1880 to 1900. Um, and now the reason why it's second or third is because 2015 and 2016 tied at 1.1 degrees warmer um, mm -hmm. than that average. This year was 1.2 degrees warmer. Um, and they did find that 2017 was the warmest um, year without an El Nino. So that's, that's pretty significant. And the vast majority of these warm years are in this century, in the, in the yep. early years of this century. Oh, yeah. And uh, six out of the last ten, I think, Noah, is what they said, um, that in, uh, were occurred, like, in this, like, six of the warmest years occurred in the last ten years. Yeah. But what is also interesting is we haven't had a cooler year yeah. in 33 years. Wow. All right. Thank you very much. That is the CBC senior science and technology writer, Nicole Martellaro.